front foot. All right, so I uh, I've been watching this uh, show, trying to understand William's explanation that it was Catherine who doctored the photo. It's <laughs> only because I've seen Ava Hilarious. recently. It's not that I only <laughs> wanted to welcome you to the show, That's James. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Let's listen right for a second. Now, oh God, they go crazy. Um, James, you're going to start with a story on the Telegraph. We've been talking about this already in the first hour. Princess of Wales is photo has all gone wrong, hasn't it? Yes, and I mean, it says a lot when this is going to be the front page of the Telegraph, which is that uh, talking about uh, doctored photographs, which the Telegraph is quite something. Uh, really, it's just about, you know, the attempt to try and put to bed these conspiracy theories, talking about the debate about some of the uh, Princess of Wales, and all it's done is really stir that up because, uh, you know, you've got people like Reuters, the AP, Getty, pulling these images. These are respected news agents, and if we can't uh, take the royals at their word, what can we do? Ava? Well, I mean, it's really fueled a lot of online conspiracies, hasn't it, about where, where on earth is she? We haven't seen her for quite some time, and I think that, you know, people are, are confused. I think the one job that the palace has is to, to give the public a couple of photographs, a couple of nice pictures every now and again of the royal family, and they can't even do that for Mother's Day. I think that, you know, I actually think it's, it's quite unfair. We, we pay for these people to, to sit in palaces, and, you know, people would like to know where she is. Just be honest, right? Because yeah. I would totally accept it that she's got a right to a private life. If she's been poorly, then so be it. But to put out a fake or doctored photograph, to pretend like everything's all well in the palace, it only makes you think that something could be far worse than we've been told. Of course, and it raises the question of credibility, which is yeah. the, the royals already get away with a lot. You know, uh, the palace, frankly, you know, remember when the late Queen was dying and, you know, they were able to say one thing about her health status and turn out not far too optimistic. And I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, if they keep making mistakes like this, people will ask questions about the way in which they're conducting their business. Jeremy, can you imagine if Harry and Meghan had done this? Mm. If they'd put out a faked photograph and there was speculation over what was mm. happening with Meghan, yeah. it would have been, uh, yeah. It's been interesting, what? isn't it? I, I don't know. So. I don't know. I don't know what it, I mean, it fuels, presumably, everything that's, I mean, I haven't read it earlier, I said it to you earlier, but I haven't read the conspiracy theorists, but it would absolutely fuel, I suspect. So it's a massive article. Well, the conspiracy theorists as well online have been mostly, mostly a joke. I think <laughs> a, a lot of it has been, you know, in, in good humor. Fuel it though, won't it? Yeah, but it has fueled it. I think it's... Well, anyway, I mean, I'm trying to find, apparently William or Kate or both issued an explanation this morning whereby um, Kate apparently explained that it was it was her um kate said that you know she if she, it's her photo editing um oh here's one princess of wales it was her photo editing gone bad which which means that she's dishonest right because it means that is so she edits her photos which as i said everyone edits photos but you know She's not everyone. She's the royal family, right? So what can we really believe about... ...a look at some of those big news stories. And to do that, we're joined by Charles Brandon and Ashley James. Good morning to you both. Let's listen to this for a second. We feel we're taking part in broadcasting history. In many ways, every time you broadcast, it feels like... I don't want to listen to all this crap. Let's see if we can... Been, it's been photoshopped a little bit. Yeah, no, even in the background, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, um, potentially autumnal leaves there. But that surely it could have. In fact, I think it's just life goes on. Yeah, uh, I think ultimately, though, this photograph was released to maybe calm the public or to try and stop people posing questions but actually it's raised more questions than given answers i think, we're, I think we're expecting a statement from the palace uh, at some point this morning and the reason they want to draw a line under this is today is commonwealth day right there's going to be the biggest gathering of the royal family probably since the coronation oh. at westminster abbey this afternoon okay and this is uh, the king was going to be there he will be there virtually he will be there on a video the queen will be there the yeah. prince of wales will be there mm. the princess royal will be there the duke of edinburgh will be there uh, the duke of kent will be there oh fuck stop will be there. they will all be there okay wait and that was bad this as a distraction this is ridiculous the... i can't do this william yes uh, this is what prince william says like many amateur photographers i do occasionally experiment with editing I want to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everybody's celebrating and had a very happy Mother's Day. 
Well done. What do you think? I, yeah. I think Excellent. it does. It just it's looks... It's still being signed C. Which is yeah, I'm not sure. Up. Yeah, I'm not sure who the C is unless that's, that's Catherine. Catherine. That's how she signed the message yesterday. So, is oh, that, okay. so, that, so that's, that's from a, Catherine. That's not... Yeah, so not William's released it, but it's a, it's a message from Catherine, clearly. Like many amateur photographers, yes. I do occasionally oh, experiment what, with editing. What, what royal bullshit is this? Okay, let's go. Just stop. Just stop! I see Bandover trying to explain the inexplicable and try to make a fool and an ass of us all. It's enough. This is just weird. It's not just weird. It lacks tact and it lacks class. I mean, this is a queen and a princess. She's not a commoner like me, right? She's not allowed to speak like me. She's not allowed to write like me. She's not allowed to curse. She's not allowed to do any of those things. She's a lady. She's a princess. I am not, okay? But I mean, again, the totality of circumstances, under the totality of circumstances here, this is rather blasé. This is really blasé. And this is very tone deaf. This is somebody who does not give a damn what you think. She doesn't give a damn about your concerns for her. She doesn't give a damn that you're worried and confused. She doesn't give a damn that you have a right to know that she's okay as one of her subjects looking up to her for some reason. She does not give a damn. And the blasé way in which she signs her name with a very airy, blasé, nonchalant C is the cherry on top of her blasé cake. This is... I have to stop following this story because it's making me angry. You know what? You guys, I'm going to move on from this story because I cannot be insulted. I, I don't like people making a fool of me. I'm not the smartest, you know, one in the room. You know, I'm really not. I'm the dumbest, in fact. But if even I can see through this, then, and people are still listening to this crap and listening to these idiots, they're not even idiots. They're intentionally dumb, dimwit, intentionally selective dimwits trying to explain away what is so clearly a lie. Now he's going to blame the whole thing on his wife and they're sitting there explaining it away so that I should accept this as being the truth. What the? I can't, I can't listen to this anymore. Listen, call me when you find the body. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on. I want to talk about other things.